Okay, for the second video, we're just going to start like right here in the middle of the start of the training videos and stuff or whatever. Like before the actual game starts, when you like select through the main menu to start a one player game and go to the isolated island and stuff. First of all, I'm not pressing anything right now. Knuckles grabs onto the wall naturally like that, just like in the previous game, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Which is, I would say, a much nicer system of control. Alright, next thing to do... Power-ups are actually displayed on the bottom there. Another cool thing. Okay. Yeah, that affects like in the final. In some of the earlier builds, you might have noticed that it was a lot wavier and crazy and stuff. Also, that thing is colored properly to match up with the rest of the game. And I believe that it's actually drawn with the 32X hardware, so that's one of the reasons that it looks a little weird in other builds, as I've mentioned before. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. Also, if we get a few rings... That's interesting, the giant ring up here doesn't seem to show up. Well, I guess I've done another one of those situations where I jumped at clearly at the wrong point in time. I'll be back, I'll just start up and end up back here as much as I can, so, um, yeah, another, the rest of this video will be shortly, I'm pausing it. Alright, now that we've gotten several more rings before getting close to the final area of the level, um, see, I think that's the problem, is that, uh, yeah, the speed's the special stage ring didn't load because we grabbed 50 rings right at the end. And so uh, we were really close to the end of the level screen, so it didn't load it up properly. But since we had 50 rings, it expected us to go into the special stage ring, so we were stuck there. That's one possibility, anyway. So yeah, as you can see, uh, now we're in the special stage. We threw Espio in there, so it's actually Espio that ends up going in, which is different from some of the previous ones. So that's something. I will just get to the end of this, and uh, then we can see what happens from there, I guess. So, alright, so that special stage having been finished, we go to the end of this here, we get jump in the ring, and yeah, I didn't really properly make note of it, but yeah, as you can see, you got the holy ring. Player select, same as in the previous build, there's even still that blank spot that's like, hmm, could that have been for Tails? So yeah, Heavy and Bomb still say the Eight Man's mechanic. We can select Mighty now, and Combi Catcher actually works here in this build. The characters are placed in different things, also this crane seems to be a little bit slower than in the final. Makes it a little bit easier to select the character. So that's that. Combi Catcher works. World Selector works. So, uh, yeah. That's that. And since we don't want to really play through that, we want to go specifically... To amazing arena and we'll do it during the day so yeah plays the not quite so happy music that repeats pretty quickly when you're not when you don't hit that thing there and you hit it and then boom so yeah up up looks like these rings are in different positions from what I recall in the final. I don't remember them being there but maybe they were, and it's just my bad memory. So, um, okay, next thing to do, determining the completeness of build, is, hold on. That's weird, the sound actually stopped when we paused in that area. So, it's this guy. Saving state just for the heck of it. And in this one, his arms don't even do anything. How many hits does he take, too? Seriously. That's weird. Alright, I'll try that again. Whoop. I guess this build is just mainly a test of his head. Okay, it seems like we got rid of him, but, uh, we don't get anything for it. Still, considering this is, I believe, the first build in which you actually have a point to hit him at, 
it's not too surprising. Also, one of the other things was earlier builds did not have this guy um, had, had uh, the buttons in the later levels. That first one did, but only in the first couple of builds anyway. So, uh, let's go back and let's go to Amazing Arena level 5 for the heck of it. See if, whoop. Okay, there we go. I don't think you can pause like right there in the final. Also, that's interesting. Those parts are colored like they would be like that. Anyway. Yep, there's a button right there. So, okay. That means there are probably going to be buttons in all of the levels, since I think they'd be working on this one pretty much last. So, I think we can unpause right here, and we should be... Yep. It actually activates the boss anyway. So, that probably means that if we beat him, he'll count as beaten. Also, those look like they should in the final. That's another thing to keep in mind. In one of the previous builds I showed you, it did not. I forget about some when exactly it did. I guess that's something to check out, then. I'll have to take a look at that and report back to you. Well, you'll have seen it in the video description anyway, so I don't know why I'm bothering to tell you. Is that right? He can destroy his own enemies, perhaps? Or maybe he just blew up that one because he died. Well, that's a little bit different. I wasn't aware of that. I'm not sure if that's like that in the final or not, or what. So, uh... Anyway, he's been destroyed. And now we get the message that's all like, Nope, you gotta do it again. I'm pretty sure... Huh, interesting. Didn't save any of that progress, I guess. That's another interesting thing to keep in mind. In any case, the important thing is, that despite the fact of giving us a little happy music at the end, that did not count as a completion. So, there is actually one other thing I want to determine. I'll just select Botanic Base because it's right there at the start. There are a couple of ways of getting a game over and getting hit and stuff that I haven't checked. First thing is to see, well, what happens if we wait a minute. In some of the earlier builds, if you did that, like waiting past nine minutes, you'd just keep running the timer and it would glitch up the graphics because it didn't have numbers greater than nine. There aren't digits greater than nine after all, so um, I'm just going to start calling Mighty. And 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, I wonder if at what point, if any, this will actually start like this. This is one of the few things that's actually different from the final. But yeah, like I mentioned, the character is actually going in front, which is a nice change, I guess. So yeah, we've already gone all the way to negative 400. So yeah. Game would have given us the game over long, long ago, so... As you can see, we can keep on going and doing this for as long as we need to, it looks like. We could probably do this so much that it starts glitching up and there's a sign error and it gets to, like, positive... certain number. But we'd have to go to, like negative 2,500 or something. We could probably do that, but, like, it'd probably take a while. I am actually curious, though, if that's what would happen, or if the dad would spill over, or what. Oh, no! That is interesting. I would not have expected that. That buffer is actually there in some ways, but... You could actually call your partner 99 times like that, so, uh... I would assume that you'll get a game over if the timer goes past 10 minutes, 9 minutes, or... So, will it or won't it, in all of .05 seconds after waiting, after I press the start button, I mean, we will figure out which is the case. Play Spetch now! If you ever recall that old bonsai show that they had on, like, Fox or whatever it was, so, um, will it time over, or will it not? You've already seen what happened with the ring counter, so, um... Odds are, you'll probably want to say yes. 
And... Oh, hold on. I haven't selected the program to actually make it be in the foreground and stuff. All right, now I can press the Enter button. Dang it, I should have built the tension a little bit better than that. <laughs> Game over!